Clifford Possum always used to say that we, that is the art audience, had to school our eyes. We had to learn how to see these paintings. And in the beginning, when they first started painting in Papunya, at the beginning of the 70s, no one could see except a small band of enthusiasts. The art world thought they looked too Aboriginal. The museum world thought they looked too artistic. And nobody bought them, nobody. But they kept painting, they kept painting and over a period of time, now those early works fetch huge prices at the auctions. People have learned to see these paintings as the beginning of a, a whole new direction in Australian art. This is one of Albert Namajira's very last few paintings. He had it with him when he left Papunya uh, and went to hospital. He died 10 days after it was painted. And it's of the mountain range that you can see from Papunya called Ulumbadu. Uh, Albert Namajira's example inspired many of the artists in this exhibition to become artists themselves, which is why artistic dynasties, not exactly commonplace, but you find a lot of them out in the desert, uh, whereas in Western art there's a handful. In these paintings they can live in the world of their ancestors, they can be strengthened by their, by their ancestors. It's a place where people came in from different area. They had a uh, different language when they came into Papania, and there was one language. And we had this ancestors' story that the old people painting was there also and taught us how to write to the painting and listen to the stories by day and night when we sit around the campfire. And we had all those stories on our mind. So it's our turn to do it on the painting and it's about our grandfather's country and our mother's country.